The grades have remained stable overall. There's a slight rise in the A star of 0.1 percentage points, a very, very small rise to 8.2%. There's some good news stories uh, The gender gap has uh, closed this year. Uh, so we've seen boys catch up with girls and in fact at the A-star boundary for the first time since the A-star was introduced overtake and we've seen changes in subject choices but Northern Ireland candidates overall really good story, really good story against uh, England and Wales as well, Northern Ireland continues to do well. Uh, well I'm doing um, engineering in Edinburgh in September so that was, yeah. And I'm doing uh, computer science at Imperial in London. Pretty relaxed about it all, like it, even coming up to it, I wasn't feeling too much stress. Um, yeah, but now I've got the results. Yeah, I'm just relaxed, just looking forward to it. I just want to get home and sleep, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got on well, yeah. So I got into UCL for law, SRTA, so yeah, really happy. I got mine um, online, so I think that's really handy, isn't it? Like being yeah, able, to, be able to do it in your own home. Because yeah. like if I was in for the post, who knows like what time I'd be waiting for? So it was good that I got it. You can like get it online now. So very interestingly, this year we've seen an increase in popularity of music, uh, which I think is fantastic because it shows that the creative subjects and the performing subjects are still really popular uh, amongst students. So it was really nice to see music. Uh, increase in terms of take up this year. We have seen some more students taking other languages. So we've had some students take Dutch um, and Arabic and um, some more students taking Chinese this year, which is really interesting. How are you feeling? Uh, like, just over the moon, completely. <laughs> um, I've got my confirmation for medicine at Queen's, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, thank you so much. It is wonderful, definitely. It's a very good day for us, definitely. And we opened the computer in the morning and saw his results, and it was we were totally lighter. But definitely, we wanted to come to the school and thank the school basically for all the support the school has given. Really keep your head down the first year to build up like a strong foundation for the second year, I think, was key because last year my results were pretty good, and like some of my modules this year weren't as good as they could have been in comparison to last year. But because I already had a fairly strong base from last year, I think it kind of worked in my favour. I'm thinking either law or something to do with maths probably, but I'm not sure yet. Not so. sure yet. Um, I'm also not sure, but I might be thinking about primary school teaching. But I need to uh, do a bit more research and kind of get myself together, but I'm not 100% uh, sure yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I did well. I got uh, two A's, a B and an E, but I got my A in physics and it was quite hard. But I'll repeat it anyway and it'll be fine. Yeah. And what about your A's? What were they in? Um, digital technology and technology and design. So either mechanical engineering or computer science. I'm very pleased. Um, sort of following in my footsteps. I, a long time ago I did computers at Queen's um, and she's, she's <laughs> taken a, a chip off the old block. Well done. It was worth all the stress and hassle. While today is all about results and it's all about how well you did academically, that's not really what life's about. And if you look at SIA, even the exam board, they just don't work at exams and curriculum. They do so many, many other things for schools in terms of materials for teaching, materials for learning, the advice and the guidance that SIA gives schools is for the holistic development of a young person, not just what letters you might have on a piece of paper. And my message to them would be, it's not that piece of paper, it's what you do yourself and your own drive and ambition and initiative that you can show in those soft skills that are sometimes called, that uh, are so important. Uh, to the community and to yourself and your own happiness and well-being.